Okay, what you're looking at here is a deal created in Pipedrive uh, using a Zap in Zapier. And one of the challenges with, with Zapier and Pipedrive is, is how to access the name fields. Because in Pipedrive, a person's name is stored, uh, first and last name is stored separately, but they're passed along together. But you can see here we have the name of the deal, the person, and the company. So we're going to show how we're going to update our, Z, our, Z, our Zapier to address this. Now what's happening for us is we're collecting the information on a registration form. And you can see we got email, first, last, company, and phone number. And then we're, we're, what we're doing is we're adding that person to uh, our MailChimp and generating uh, a webinar registration with Zoom. Now, I can't just create a deal in Pipedrive and pass that information. I can't just pass first name and company. What I have to do is first uh, locate that person because what I need is the ID. So what we've done is we've said we're gonna, uh, we are going to find a person. As you see in here, we're going to find a person. And what we're going to do is we're going to look by email address. So we're going to search by email. We're going to grab the value from MailChimp and we're going to look for an exact match. If there is one, then we already have the person's name, we have the ID of record, and whatever information exists in Pipedrive. But if we don't have it, we're going to create it here. So in this case, we're going to take those first and last name fields from MailChimp and, and pass them onto, onto Pipedrive. We're going to pass the organization name right here, there's the company, email address and phone number and whatnot pass and title and, and LinkedIn. Once we've passed that, we send that data, now we get an ID. Okay, so we're either going to find it by, by email address, we're going to get, remember we're in person, we found a person, it's person number seven in this case. All right? You can see we have the person's first and last name right there. Okay, we also have the organization name uh, down here at some point. It's uh, evading me at this moment. Maybe it's not in the system. So that's what we need is the ID. Then we can create the pipe drive deal. We're going to create a deal and we're going to customize the data. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking the title and passing the first and last name. I could grab the, the ID address, but I want, to, I want you to see some variations. Doing this works because we're just passing field values. Okay. But down here, look, I have organization ID. So what I've done is I've searched in here and I, I don't want MailChimp data. Now remember, we're creating a deal and in order to attach the company, we have to, the company has to exist. So I have org ID right here. That's, that's the field that we're using. Boom, okay. We're gonna grab the org ID. And then same thing here with the person. You're seeing my MailChimp fields because this wasn't working and I had to figure out why. Now we're going to go back to ID. Again, we don't want MailChimp data because we're creating a deal in Pipedrive and we have, to we have to know the person and the organization. So here's my ID. Remember ID 7? That's the person right there. That's what we're passing through. And we don't, you can do all these other values, but I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And then we're going to test that out. And what we should see is this information passed through. So we're going to hit that test. We're going to go into pipe drive. We're going to go to deals. And there is the registration right there. And you can see the, first, the, the name was passed through. And this person is not associated to an organization. And we didn't create the organization, but at least we know the deal that came in and who it's associated with, we can update that. Hopefully that explains things. I've spent days on this. It's pretty tricky. If you need help, I'm happy to help you. Um, and uh, I'm in the process of updating a lot of zaps to do this properly. Thanks.